Greetings fanboys and fangirls, Jared here with another video from Fanboys Forever. Today we're covering some exciting leaks that we've gotten in from some of the foreign uh, toy websites. So just as a little disclaimer at the beginning, uh, I'm not going to be showing any kind of pictures of anything that's leaked or anything like that. So Mattel, there's no reason to copyright strike this video as you are wont to do. So let's get right into it. We'll start with some of the obvious ones that we knew were probably coming eventually. Buzz Off will be joining the Masters of the Universe Origins line, and uh, I'm sure that it will look probably pretty close to this. This is, of course, the Super 7 version, which is probably not going to be a lot of surprises with Buzz Off, but it's good to know that he's coming. We also know that Jitsu will be coming to the line, and probably much like Fisto and many of the other figures, we're probably looking at a straight up remake with added articulation so i would say it will look very similar to this we also found out that the classic sorceress in her original paint scheme would be joining the line and of course we know the sorceress was already packed in with castle grayskull and this will just be a repaint of that one i'm sure we're also going to get anti-eternia he-man now anti-eternia he-man is a concept from i believe it was a german audio drama it come on a cassette and it was all about this He-Man from an alternate, like, dark version of Eternia. From there, for years, people have done their own anti-Eternia He-Man customs. And then Mattel actually did an official one shown here in the Classics line. So this will just be an Origins version of that. This is probably a pretty good idea of what that will look like. This was a custom from, looks like, Big Bang. Next up, we have Stratos, and he's going to be in his mini-comic color. So this is great that they're putting that out there. I've always thought the mini comic colors were a little weird on Stratos, so it's not one that I'm super excited about, but it's cool to get those original mini comic colors. We're also getting Clawful. Of course, Clawful should look uh, just about like this, and it probably won't be anything too unexpected, but it will be nice to have the added articulation. We're also going to get mini comic colors Trap Jaw. Now, here we can see Trap Jaw, and this was a PowerCon exclusive, and this is done in the classic style, but you can kind of see what Mattel's ideas about what the color scheme should be for that. Here he is from the mini comics, and here's another shot of Trap Jaw from the mini comics. I actually like this color scheme a lot. Stratos always looked weird to me, but I've always thought this Trap Jaw was kind of cool. It makes him look more uh, zombie esque, I think. And then one of the listings that I think that will be puzzling to a lot of people is the one that says Horde Terror, but some other listings I think have clarified this is the Horde Trooper. So this should just be the standard Horde Trooper, I think. When I first saw that listing, I thought maybe it was supposed to be like Rap Trap and they had renamed him. He's now the Horde Terror. So, I mean, it's kind of terrifying to me, a Horde mummy. And by far the most interesting listing of all is for a character called Sun Man. And a lot of people were a little confused about what this is. Sun Man is actually like a knockoff kind of figure that was done by another company, uh, Olmec Toys, I think. And the idea is that he was supposed to be more of a racially diverse hero that was sort of like He-Man. And I think this was in the very mid 80s when this came out. Um, here we can see an ad for Sun Man. There's also his adversary Pig Face. And here is a picture of the figure. I actually think the packaging design is kind of cool with his weird like uh, cape thing. And it kind of makes the bottom of the Sun logo. It's also interesting that it almost looks like Mattel ripped off the Sun Man logo for the uh, New Adventures of He-Man line, which it was just called He-Man, uh, that came in the late 80s and early 90s. So for me, this raises a few logistical questions. Um, did Mattel absorb Olmec toys years and years ago? Did they just flat out buy the rights to Sun Man, a clear ripoff of their own He-Man property? I'm not really sure what the logistics of this situation is or were, but this is a really cool way to get this character in there and kind of have him join the He-Man family. I think this is a great idea. It's also a great way to get some much needed diversity into the line. So that is really cool. We also have several Masterverse listings. Of course, these are the more detailed seven inch figures that we're seeing hitting Walmart right now, most of which are based on Masters the Universe Revelation. So we have a few different ones. We have a deluxe trap jaw coming out and that's gonna be like Faker, I assume, in the big window box. And I'm sure that he's deluxe because he's going to have a variety of different arm attachments. So that would be really cool. Who knows what it'll look like, but if it's anything like the character design we're seeing from the show, should be an awesome figure. Next up, we do have a Triclops deluxe figure. And it's gonna be interesting to see what makes this Triclops deluxe or what they have uh, coming with him. I know that there's two very distinct looks for Triclops in the show. I'm really hoping it's more of the classic look. I mean, who knows? Maybe they can impress me and change my mind with the figural representation, the one where he's in red from those latest trailers. But I don't know. I'm um, I kind of need him to be green. <laughs> 
All right, next up we have He-Man Savage, and this is interesting to me. I'm pretty sure that this is the same figure that had an image of it leaked on Amazon a little while back. Still can't show it uh, because they've not officially revealed it, but it's out there, it's around, it's just looks more like Ular the Savage He-Man. Next up we got Scareglow, and apparently this will be a standard retail version of Scareglow, so I guess we shouldn't freak out too much about that one that's coming up from Mattel Creations. It's going to be exclusive. So we'll see. Next up, we have Fisto from Masterverse, and he's probably going to have his, and I'm sure Fisto will probably be in his classic look that we see from the trailer, so that should be a nice figure. Next up, we got Stinkor, and of course Stinkor was revealed in the latest trailer, and he looked fantastic. Reminded me a lot of the 2000X version. Probably the one that's piqued my interest the very most. It's Barbarian Skeletor. I'm not really sure what this would be. It might be more of a an original creation uh, that's in the show might have something to do with savage he-man too so i'm not really sure where we're going with that one but it should be interesting at the very least next up viking he-man i'm glad to see this i'm pretty sure this means we're going to be getting a vicor figure it's weird that they're calling him viking he-man um but that's just their conan kind of version of he-man i'm pretty sure that's what it is especially considering that he did pop up in the latest trailer in the background so I'm excited about all these. Uh, I'm definitely not as excited for Masterverse figures as I am the Origins figures. Masterverse looks really cool and I have Skeletor, so I'm hopefully gonna put up a little look at him once I have some of the others. The Origins is more my kind of thing, I think, but who knows, maybe with Masterverse, they'll kind of get their footing and they'll really improve it as it goes. Let's go ahead and discuss that brand new Scare Glow. It was revealed yesterday. It is an exclusive for the Mattel Creations website. Like I've said in my video about the Sergeant Slaughter figure that they have, I think this website is sort of becoming Maddie Collector 2.0. No, God, please, no, 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 no! Anyway, though, here we see our first shot of Scareglow. He does have a soft goods cape. It looks like he has two halves of the power sword. We also see that here he has more of the glow in the dark effect, which is really nice. I'm really liking the posable cape. It's soft goods, but apparently has a wire running through it. And that does look like the power sword to me. It's a, quite a different looking version of it. Almost like those are uh, split off from it and then it's held together with the, the metal handle. He apparently glows in the dark very strongly. I wish there was more seeing the bone in the arms and things though. It's almost like the wrap around his waist. It covers most of what's seen on the legs. So that's unfortunate. Here's a better look at the cape. It's a little more bright. And here he is with his accessories, including that classic scythe. From this angle, you can see the bone on the arms a lot better. It's a shame that you can't see it on the other side. That would have been nice. And I also really like the overhang on the cape. He does come in deluxe packaging. It's like a scare glow book, if you will. There are LED lights in it. And there it is from the back, I believe. You'll be able to get scare glow for $35. And that'll be on the Mattel Creations website on July 22nd. Now, here's the million dollar question, or well, the $35 question. Will anybody really be able to get this thing aside from bots and scalpers? I am saying right now, I hate to be pessimistic, but I think this could be a disaster. <laughs> so um, I guess just previous experience. If those PowerCon exclusives or anything to go by, that was disastrous. And here you don't even have Big Bad Toy Store as a backup. So I am pretty concerned about this. Uh, I will say that it's good that at least we know that there is a standard version of this coming from the leaked listings today. So I guess that'll save us over, but uh, we'll see what happens. There's also a couple of other exclusives that's gonna be put on the website uh, that day. You have this Masters Universe Revelation Battle Labbit. Uh, I guess the Battle Labbit's like the vinyl toy. I, I never really had any of those, so it doesn't really appeal to me, but I mean, you know, this is your thing go for it. But I do really like these. It's the exclusive versions of the Hot Wheels Land Shark and Wind Raider because they have these really cool little mini figures of He-Man and Skeletor in them. So I actually think that's awesome. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. This was just a quick little update on Masters of the Universe and all the different exclusives and things that they've announced. Let's hope that everything goes well on July 22nd, that everybody's able to get what they want, but I doubt it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. Also, let me know down below out of the leaked listings that we covered, which one of the Origins figures and which one of the Revelations figures that you are most looking forward to. Anyway, though, happy hunting out there. I know that Revelation figures are still hitting local Walmarts all over America, and uh, hopefully you'll do better than I have in my quest for them. 
So guys, of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our brand new videos. It's going to be all about Masters of the Universe. And of course, keep up with us on Twitter. Anyway, as always, God bless you and yours. Be safe out there, and I'll see you on Fanboys Forever. Fanboy out. Thank you.